Guess who was speaking? John Dean. No, not an old tape of John Dean on Watergate. Uh, it wasn't a CNN episode of Anderson Cooper. Uh, no, it wasn't Chris Cuomo. It was John Dean front and center the first time the Judiciary Committee in the House had somebody there to testify since Michael Cohen was there in April. And what do you have? Somebody who says, I don't really know any facts about the case, but judging by not my 970 tweets, I really hate Donald Trump. Here's a listen. This committee is now hearing from the 70s, and they want their star witness back. I believe that they have the godfather here today. Mr. Dean. The first announced witness of the 116th Congress is Michael Cohen, a guy who sits in prison today for lying to Congress. Today, Chairman Nadler brings in front of the Judiciary Committee a guy to talk about obstruction of justice who went to prison in 1974 for obstructing justice. In the last two years, did you know you sent 970 tweets about Donald Trump? All 970 tweets about Donald Trump are anti-Donald Trump. You are functionally here as a prop because they can't impeach President Trump. And you sit before us here with no knowledge of a single fact on the Mueller report on a hearing entitled Lessons from the Mueller Report. Not a fact witness. So why would the Democrats invite him? Well, let's uh, let's get in the Wayback Machine. Once upon a time, John Dean described uh, uh, Richard Nixon. Uh, of course, he was his attorney. And then he described uh, George W. Bush's Iraq War as That's worse John than... That's John Dean back in the day? Yeah. yeah. Wow. He was famous. He was the uh, president's attorney. And uh, then until prosecutors got the goods on him, then he flipped and he started testifying against other conspirators before he went to prison. So, but, you know, regardless... Regarding Reagan, he said Iran-Contra, worse than Watergate. He said George W. Bush's Iraq War, worse than Watergate. They wanted, they, the Democrats, wanted him to say, oh, the way President Trump operates, worse than Watergate. That was going to be the soundbite out of yesterday's he hearing. He just said they're parallels, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a guy who went to prison and was convicted of obstruction as well. So He was part of the cover-up. Well, yeah. Not as well, because the president wasn't, but he was convicted of obstruction. Right, uh, so in the New York Post, they had an editorial, and here's the headline, Jerry Nadler's Trump bashing show is a bust. They went on uh, to talk about, in detail, why you're sitting there basically putting on a show rather than getting facts. Jason Chaffetz, who is chairman of Oversight, he knows what a good hearing looks like, and it wasn't this. When your core star witness is a convicted felon and he starts his testimony by saying, um, I'm not a fact witness. If it was a court, they would have tossed him out, wouldn't even allow him to testify. Jerry Nadler is running this like some high school, you know, show that's it's not worthy of the of the Judiciary Committee. It is a terrible embarrassment. And the core premise, the heart of their argument is based on a fallacy. It's based on fiction and it's going nowhere. And they proved that yesterday. And one of the curious things was uh, they asked John Dean, who has written a number of books about how things were worse than Watergate uh, since Nixon. He said, how much money did you make on the book? And he goes, I don't know. Did you make more than a million? No. Did you make more than half a million? I don't know. How much do you make at CNN? I don't know. Right. And they had, I don't know. He has so much he doesn't keep up. <laughs> right. And he has, by the way. He, he knows. He's got to know what his book deal was. He's got to know well, how he, much he's paid as a contributor. Well, what is he going to do? He's been disbarred. So, and he's got prison on his record. Uh, but he, here's the other thing. They had U.S. attorneys out there talking about how terrible uh, Donald Trump is and how this case would have been prosecuted. Yep. All, of them were, uh, all of them were put in place by President Obama, and many of which were MSNBC contributors. So what, what are you doing? We have cable channels for this. Why don't you do your job?